creating drafted details. When we're creating drafting details or drafting views, we are creating a detail that's not associated to the building model. And there are times when we cannot just simply create a call out and add some details to it. For example, if we want to have a carpet transition to where the tile is, or a roof drain uh, is not based on a call out of the roof. To do so, we're going to create our drafting view and we're going to draw everything from scratch using different types of lines. Uh, detail lines, detail regions, detail components, you know, insulation, you know, symbols, text, uh, dimensions, all that. So we're essentially drawing it from scratch, but we're saving it with the project. So we're not getting any information from the building model. We're just starting from scratch. And we can take a look at this sample drawing view here. We could we could draw this, and this is not a 3D view. This is just drawn from scratch to say, you know, this is how it's going to look like when we connect our floor joists uh, to, you know, our uh, our rim joists here. And uh, so we end up showing how we, uh, you know, strengthen the the wall by putting vertical reinforcement in with a grouted or, or filled uh, cell in the in the block wall. So uh, you know we draw all this from scratch, and there's just nowhere we can get all this information. So we just draw from scratch, and. Uh, so it's a totally different method of how we do this. Of course, you could do this in AutoCAD, but the advantages of Revit is one, it stays with the project, and number two, we can collect a lot of information from our components, from our detail components. We can get things already pre-drawn for us, so that helps us greatly.